We're very seasonal, so each month is different. It depends what you want. If you like lots of snow and the high mountains or above the Arctic, April or May, the high summer with a midnight sun, June, July, August, we don't get crowded, so the high summer is glorious. And then the first snow on the mountains may be in September and October and those autumn colors. They're lovely, all of them. In Denmark and in the south, it doesn't get terribly cold. So yes, warm clothes and a raincoat. If you're going further north or east to Finland or Sweden, layers is the secret. You can buy either online or when you're there, these little crampons for your shoes or your boots. If you're a little scared of slipping over in icy pavements, they're great. Nordic sweaters, they're lovely. There are a lot of them too. Choosing a Be My Guest experience would be like choosing a favourite child. Firstly, you've got Finland surrounded by water, deep in the forest, and old smoke sauna. I'm not going to make you have a sauna, but it's glorious, it's magical, it's authentic, the secrets of the Finnish soul and delicious Finnish delicacies. And then in Bergen in Norway, we walk past their Norwegian ponies to a family home, culture and history and music and laughter. They are both lovely. They're both, well, it's a window into another world, isn't it? I guess love them, both. We do have a trip that goes just to Norway, and clearly hiking in the Norwegian mountains would be wonderful, but also in Sweden, the forests and the lakes and the high fjells, or above the Arctic Circle in Finland, the Tunturi. That would be glorious in the summer. So you could do it with any of our trips. Daylight is long and the nights are late. And it depends, of course, where you are. The further north, the later the nights. The closer you are to midsummer, June the 21st, the later the nights. The white nights of Scandinavia. No, it doesn't really get dark in the summer in Scandinavia. Have a look at scenic Scandinavia and its fjords. It's 14 days, a great introduction to three countries bustling cities, friendly towns, tiny villages, scenery, 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 mountains and fjords, meadows and forests, scenery. Really, it's lovely. Come. Well, chocolate in Sweden, Swedish dine chocolate. In Denmark, you need an open sandwich with aquavit, the water of life. In Norway, Rörmergröts with sour cream and sugar and cinnamon, mm, delicious. In Finland, Karelian, warm Karelian pasties, lots of melted butter. Oh, and did I mention Swedish chocolate? 